So this is how you're going to create filters or email folders in your Zoho Mail inbox. So first of all, you have to create your folders. So you're going to create folder. And you're going to create folders for everything that you need to separate, right? So if it's accounting, orders, uh, customer service, you want a folder for each one of those. And you want to place it under inbox so that it will be a subfolder to the inbox, all right? Um, you don't have to check this um, because I'm not really sure how those notifications come in. I don't want you to get a ton of notifications. So save that. Uh, let's also create one for orders. Again, we're going to place it under inbox. Okay, and you'll see it appear here. And then one more for customer service. And there we go. So now, uh oh, did I make a mistake? Hold on. Oh, I put it in the wrong place. If that happens, just remove, you know, move it so I can just move it there. All right. So now we have all three folders. Now we want to create filters so that when you have emails going to accounting at or help at or orders at, it'll go to those respective folders. So you're going to go to settings in the top right and then scroll down to the section that says filters create new filter and we're going to call this accounting inbox we're going to say any of these conditions just in case you have more than one email that you want to send to that inbox so if it's going to and it contains we're going to use contains because if it goes to more than one email address if someone sends an email to accounting at but then they also send it to two other people people with totally different domains, you still want to receive or you still want to send it to this folder. So we're going to go accounting at and then your domain number one. And we're going to say, you know what, also if it's going to invoices at your other domain so it's a different domain it can it, it can be whatever email address it, sh it needs to be it doesn't have to be one of your email addresses or your domains it can be anyone's domain but you're going to send anything that meets those conditions will go to the accounting inbox now you want to apply that to the inbox so if anything comes into your inbox and it meets these rules it's going to move it to accounting right this folder called accounting right if we check this box and it says do not process other filters that means that if there are other rules that that same email can apply to which one do you want to come first right if we want this one to come first then we want to you know check this box hit save now any email that goes to those email uh, addresses will go into the accounting and you're going to do the same thing for customer service go in create a filter for customer service and do the same thing. Whatever email addresses you want to go to that inbox, you're gonna put those in the conditions. Now, after you've created the rule, run the rules. So if you already have a lot of emails in your inbox that are going to accounting at or invoices at, you wanna run the rules so it'll move them over. So I would click on this. You can see here it says apply to existing emails and I am going to run it on the inbox because you probably got a ton of emails there, right? When you click on that, it's going to run the rule through everything in the inbox. And if it meets the criteria, it's going to move it to those respective folders. And that is pretty much it. If everyone in the organization will set up their folders, create their folders, and then set up their filters, and then run their filters, everything will go to their respective place. Now, anything going forward, after you create those rules, it's going to automatically go there. You don't have to go back and force that rule again. You don't have to rerun it in the future. It's just you have to do it one time just to kind of get everything that's in your inbox in its right folder.